the Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, today we're doing, I think, one of our most favorite. I, it's definitely one of my oh. favorite dishes. It's probably in the top two or three. Yeah. It's so good. It's, it's so delicious. It's completely made from scratch and something you can absolutely comfort. do at home. It's, so it's comfort in yes. the most wonderful comforting yes. way you can ever imagine. We are doing my world famous chicken pot pie. Yum a dum dum. <laughs> All right, so let's do a pot pie. Let's oh, do it. It's so good, you guys. All right, so now let me tell you. Of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how I did all these different ingredients um, as we go. But this I is helped. Some, you did. You always do, <laughs> and more than just eating. But this is some roasted chicken. I'm going to tell you how I did that in a minute. It's so it's good. Quintessential to yes. a really good chicken pot pie. Yeah. We've got some carrots, some peas, some parsley. Hi, Flo. Flo and is, we've got Flo. And we've got Flo, as always. <laughs> we've got our Thank homemade you. pie crust dough that's going to be yes. amazing. Yeah. And um, let me tell you what I've got going over here. Yeah. In it smells delicious. It, it does. What I've already got started is I've got a nice large pot. This is my trusty Dutch oven. You could just use a you know a decent sized pot. And what I did was I took a stick and a half, which is twelve tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mm. I put that in this <laughs> pot over un, over medium heat. Let that melt, and then I added two cups of diced oh. onion. Oh, nope. No. <laughs> Flo, you can't eat the dough. Yeah, or the chicken. Okay. Nor any of it. Yeah, she's already had some chicken. Anyway, I added so the onion. Onion. And then I added um, about 10 to 12 ounces of mushrooms, depending on how much you love the sliced <laughs> mushroom. We love shiitake. You can do, we, we added a little of the white mushroom or the white yes. mushroom mushroom. And you're going to let that cook for about, we let that go for about 10 minutes. Um, there's now, how many, t how many uh, tablespoons of butter did you put in there? Again? It doesn't really matter. I <laughs> think 12. But it goes a long way. Yeah, it's a good amount. It's okay. so good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do, who's your favorite uh, Golden Girls character? Rue. We're going to make a Rue. Rue. So, is it? No, yeah. Rue Callahan. So I'm Callahan. adding three quarters of a cup. That may seem like a lot, but we got a lot of butter in there. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we are going to let that just soak into those veggies. And the Rue is just with a flour, right? You don't have to use it is. cornstarch. Right? No, that's a slurry. That's a slurry. With the French Rue on top. is a flour and... Cornstarch is a slurry. Yes, yes. Uh, like what happens if you've had too many mimosas? You get a little slurry. Anyway, we're going to let that cook. It's important you let that cook for about two to three minutes because you want that raw flour taste to, to cook off. So yes. now, while we're doing this, let me tell you how I made this incredible, incredible roasted oh, chicken. So good, y'all. So we start with four bone-in, skin-on chicken breast halves. We're going to liberally apply some olive oil to the skin on the outside. And then we take some kosher salt and sprinkle it all over. Then we do the same with some freshly ground black pepper. Now we add that to a baking sheet on a rack with the other three breasts. And they go into an oven that's been preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to want to cook this until you get an internal temperature of 160 to 165 degrees. After they've cooled, remove the skin and then just use your hands and pull the meat away from the bone. It's so tender and you won't believe how flavorful it is. Then just take a sharp knife and cube the meat. Cut slices and then square off bite-sized chunks. This is the perfect chicken for your chicken pot pie. And that, I'm telling you, is the bomb. It's so mm -hmm. good. And then we've got these carrots over here. Now, Wesley and I love, whenever we're eating our pot pie, I, I don't like to bite into an ingredient for it to be purely yeah. bite into <laughs> intense. And sometimes if you don't do anything to your carrots, um, these are cut nice and thin, but they can still be a little hard bite. You have a little bite to right. them. You want to get them started before you put them into the oven. Right. So what I did was I got some. I just got some water and I boiled it, and then I, I cut my carrots, and then I put those these carrots in the boiling water, and I. Who's your favorite? Another Golden yeah, Girls. It's the same one. Blanche. Oh, Blanche and Ruth. That's right. Anyway, it's, it's the carrot. Oh, boy. We always go back to Golden Girls. But anyway, Flo, we just blanched oh, these Chris. for about two uh, high flow. No, right. not for about two minutes. Flo, and then let them get nice and soft. I fish them out. And um, you don't even have to put them in a bath water or ice bath water. They're gonna they're just perfectly cooked. If you like them with a little bite, you don't have to you don't have to do with that. a little crunch like yeah, with a little like crunch. a little rabbit yeah in a raw carrot. That's right. Okay, <laughs> so now let me tell you what we've done over here in this in the pot next to this. I've got some um, five cups of chicken stock. If you can make your own homemade, 
Get the recipe yes. on howtofeedaloon.com. That's take great. A, take those chicken bones and boil them up oh, with some the best. herbs. And if you're going to go the distance and make this dish, you should really... <laughs> Flo, she's so excited. I don't know why. Anyway, so we're going to take this five cups of chicken stock, and just to boost up the flavor, I added two chicken bouillon yes. cubes. Yes. Bouillon. And let that dissolve, and that's just going to add so much more flavor. Oh, so now I what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chicken stock, and I'm going to add it into here. Careful. And that beautiful roux that we already added is going to, I need to turn this down. That is popping hot, Woo! I tell you. Lordy. The, um, the okay. roux now in with that liquid will make it kind of soupy. Is that it? Kind of a soup. <laughs> it thickens it. It makes it the consistency of chicken pot pie filling. You know, <laughs> you don't want it soupy. No, I, I mean, it'll thicken it. Yeah, so it's more. thickening in there. Yeah, so it'll be so more. So now what we're going to do <laughs> Never is... Never mind. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> on the right track. So now we've got um, some heavy cream. We're going to add a little heavy cream because, you know, why not? Yeah, uh, heavy that cream. That would be my rap name. Heavy cream. <laughs> <laughs> heavy cream puff. But anyway, um, it's so luxurious and so delicious. We're going to take a teaspoon of kosher salt, maybe a little more because it could use it, yes. and then a good healthy pinch of black pepper. Oh boy, that is amazing. Now this is the black pepper and the and the salting is all to your taste, right? Or is there a specific amount that you need? To well, I just said a teaspoon, but I do like the, I don't like it, I don't like especially my chicken pie to be under seasoned, so I usually right. do a little more. And as always, you should taste as you go, I, which um, is what I just said. Right, right, to your own liking. <laughs> um, all right, here's this incredible chicken that we're going to add. Yay, to roasted to deliciousness. And uh, you know you're going to want to do about. I believe I usually put about four cups in there, but you want it to be about to this consistency right here. And I love, I love that you chopped it the way you did because some people make their chicken pot pies and they pull apart their chicken. Well, they sh you like can shred, shred it. it. Yeah, yeah. Which I, I, I like the big chunks. I know. <laughs> anyway, you obviously uh, like the big chunks. This is a cup, uh, <laughs> a cup of frozen peas. You don't have to thaw them. You can just put them right in there. They're going to cook beautifully. Oh, I should have showed everybody how to open the bag. Yeah, that's well. That's about <laughs> as good as what you're good for. No, you're better than that. This is a half a cup of chopped fresh parsley. Just going to add another little peppery flavor and that's it so now we're going to mix this all look how that is just so that is beautiful let's yes. get some more chicken in there it's yes chicken it pot pie gorgeous. and it smells ridiculous. amazing okay so now we're just going to let i mean that is wow 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 okay so, so that now, just that cooks down for like how long oh it doesn't take i mean it's basically ready now you've got really? your filling you're feeling it's going to be so beautiful. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this. All right, Flo. Flo, watch out. <clears throat> so this is my beautiful, beautiful pie dough. I'm going to roll this out to just like a normal pie crust. Yes. And then I'm going to take these. These are adorable, aren't they, people? I They're love so these. so cute. These are you can find anywhere. They're like And um, then I'm going to cut the tops off of, you know, in the pie crust. I'm going to fill this up, and we're going to have beautiful, beautiful The most delicious. Pies. Yes. All right, so now <laughs> it's time to assemble, it and then is. it's time to bake, and then it's time to eat. So yes. let me tell you what. Let's go ahead. While, let's I'm put gonna, you to work. I'm going to assemble this while Chris talks about. I'll talk, I'll talk about, talk a few about things. something else. Any, I don't know. Well, yeah, it'll be really <laughs> exciting. Anyway, we're going to take this, and we got a nice sized uh, casserole dish here. Mm -hmm. You can use ramekins. Pie dish. You can use really whatever you want. You can even do like a big old giant nine by thirteen. Yes. Uh, but we, can, you can find these individual ones, and they're perfect. Yes, and you just fill this up. Okay, so now I took that beautiful pie crust. Mm -hmm. The homemade pie crust that, of course, you get the recipe for on howtofeedaloon.com. you got to do the homemade mm -hmm. pie crust. You've got to, got to, got to. And I roll that out like I'm just, you know, like I'm doing a regular pie crust. Get it to the nice thinness that you want. Yes. And um, and then I just, what I did was I inverted these these plates, these bowls, and I just cut around them because that's going to be the perfect cir uh, circumference for what you need. And then as Wesley is doing right there... You just lay that on top. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, to really give it that nice pot pie um, look and I to help this. seal it, you're just going to take this. a fork and just crimp the sides, okay? It'll probably take him 20 minutes to do Shut. that. Shut um, But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So we've already got one of these done. Now, a standard pie crust is going to make probably enough for you to easily make three, uh, what I would do, three 
pot pies. I would just flatten this out and maybe probably get another couple out of here. <laughs> um, but this makes a good amount. This makes enough for, for eight people. Usually when I'm making this just for me and the loon, I make a nice batch and then I freeze it. It freezes beautifully. Yes, um, it's so good. So that's great. So um, anyway. It's always nice one. to have frozen pie crust in the... Oh, you're talking about this oh, or the yes, pie crust? The, the filling. Oh, that anyway, too. <laughs> this is an egg wash. This is an egg wash. This is one egg that's been lightly beaten. Hold and on, I I'm putting added, my slits um, in first. One tablespoon of water to it. And what that's going to do is it's just going to make this crust nice and golden. It's also going to help um, just seal the edges. Sorry, I got a little egg. You need to wash your hands. Is that egg wash? Um, just kind of just quickly just brush this over the top. Now what he's doing is he's adding slits to the top. You want that um, steam to be able to escape while it is cooking um, so it won't explode on you in the, <laughs> yeah. in the oven. That's always a lot of fun. It won't. And then another little special touch that I love to do is I love to get some coarse salt. This is some, some fleur de sel. Um, it's just like coarse sea salt and just sprinkle a little it's off the top. What it does is it just adds another little texture, yes. another layer of flavor. And it enhances the flavor, yes. And then we get another, I just do a little brush. You can get a couple grinds of pepper on top, <laughs> and you are beautiful. So now we have got these. I've preheated my Yay! oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put these on a baking sheet. They're going to go in the oven. And then when they come out, you're going to want to let them sit for about 15 minutes because Oop. this filling gets really, really hot. <laughs> Flow is just so tight. And exciting. sometimes I like to make little leaves out of this and put them on the top. A little decorative but leaves. He wouldn't let me town. do it this time because apparently I take too much time. Well, anyway, we've taken a lot of your time. So <laughs> when we come back, it's going to be time to eat this pot pie. Yay! Oh, Yay. look at these. These are so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. The pies so, have come out of the oven. <sighs> so and these, I'm going to eat. I know. Well, <laughs> some things never change. Look at how good. gorgeous it's that beautiful is. Beautiful these baked. I think I said 350. I baked them actually at 375 for 45 minutes. Some oven temperatures vary, so just keep an eye on them. You'll know they get beautifully golden on top. There's going to be a little seepage on the side, but that's okay. It's a pot pie. It's supposed yes, to be that. Yes, it's so good. Oh, it's just Look at how smell. That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It really is beautiful. And remember, Remember, these things get super hot. They bake for, for you know, a good 45 minutes. So yeah. let them, you know, it's funny to watch him like, ah! It's like hot lava. Yeah, so let them cool. You don't want to injure your guests. I, no, the but, but of course, I'm like, let me at it. I know. And right? I always suffer the consequences. So just stop talking. Yes. Me. All right. Well, hopefully. Dig in there. Ooh, let's just go to the middle, shall yeah, we? Yeah, just dig in. Oh, look at that crust. Oh, it's so crust. flaky. You guys, you got to make the crust. Here we go. Now let's get a good. Ooh. Oh, look at all of that deliciousness. Um, I think I'm in heaven and let's eat it. Let's see. It's, it's been sitting for about 15 minutes. It's still nice and hot, but it should be. Not too I got to blow on a little bit. <sighs> I just tasted it with him. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's crazy. It's insane. Yeah. It's through the roof good. <laughs> I'm crying. It's so no, seriously. Your chicken pot pie innards, I like to call them, are uh, is amazing. Yeah. Is amazing. And that crust, yeah. a homemade crust makes such a big difference. Yeah. It really does. I mean, you can just taste the the the, the homemadeness. Love. I know. It's, the homemadeness. It, there has never been, I think, a more, better dish that is just oh. better made from scratch. Look at that delicious it's so crust. Good. It is so incredible. Oh, and I got I missed a carrot. Oh, no. oh and there's a oh a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> now this <laughs> is loon approved. <laughs> well, what kind of percentage is it? Oh, oops, I meant 100%. 150% approved, I would say. <laughs> Are I you going to dig in? I got to go in for some it, of this. Oh, y'all. Now, this amazing, amazing recipe. Ama look at that chicken. <laughs> Be careful. Now look at that smoke. Not smoke, steam. Anyway, this amazing recipe is, you can find it on howtofeedaloon.com. And many more, many more recipes. I'm sorry, this dog. The minute we bring out food, well, this dog the food is right and here. The and please go to all of our <laughs> social media and like us and share us. And and at the same time, start preparing this because <gasps> it will change your life. It's it is perfect. So good. It's perfect for the holidays. It's just oh my gosh, that that pie crust. Oh, oh, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye, bye, pie, 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 <laughs> pie. <laughs> pie, pie to everybody. <laughs> mm. 
everybody. Hey, <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>